Joseph's submission to Moses prepared him for submission to God. Pagkasabi sa katabi, if you cannot submit to a human being, you'll find it harder to submit to God whom you do not see. Sometimes one of the hardest things you can teach your leaders is that you cannot really be a good leader if you're not, that's not, you do not understand submission. There are people who want to be leaders but they don't want to submit. These leaders will become a headache later on. And they will create trouble for your church if they don't understand submission. And that includes you, the pastor. Do you know submission? Amen? Pwede nang sabihin, dapat matuto kayo mag-submit. Ikaw, nagsasubmit ka ba? Ayun, ang importanteng tanong. Okay? That's why every leader has to have accountability with the other leaders. Amen? Kaya, may accountability ako sa board, may accountability sa pastor council. In fact, any person from the church can come to me and say to me, Pastor, I have a problem with what you said. Okay. O pastor, Careful ka ha, kasi baka ma-misinterpret ka. Okay, thank you. I've always encouraged transparency in leadership. I value transparency more than anything else. Sometimes transparency can be very hurting, but you need it. You need to hear that. You need to hear people who oppose you. Because there may be something you cannot see that they see. That makes you accountable. Understand that? You know, in my birthday, some of the church leaders told me, Pastor, we are really blessed by you because kahit kuminsan toxic na yung kaharap mo, patient ka pa rin. Especially in board meetings. <laughs> uh, sabi niya, kami pastor, natuto rin kami maging patient. Kasi nga, kitang-kita namin kung kami, mag gusto na namin, mm, yun yung... <laughs> Pero, you have taught us how to be gentle and patient even where the person really is testing every patience in your life. And we know, Pastor, why you are able to do that because you always see people as a work in progress. You always believe the best is yet to come. And that's why we understand you can be patient even with the worst people in this leadership because you know they are not finished products yet. Because you do not know what they can become by the grace of God. That's why you don't make judgments on them. If they create a lot of trouble, then discipline has to be carried out. But I don't lose faith on the person because God is not finished with the person yet. That's why some people don't understand how I deal with people like that. Because, Pastor, tapat tanggalin na yan. Dika mo na, dika mo na. May potential yung tao eh. May problem sa ugali. Tulungan natin maayos yung ugali, pero yung gift niya sayang kung di magagamit ng tama. Di ba? Kaya I allow people to oppose me. And then I just listen. Kung may point, agree. Kung hindi, parang hindi pa rin, just be patient. Okay? What do I lose? I gain wisdom. <laughs> and I learn to be more like Christ. <laughs> Amen? Can you say to the person beside you, patience and submission begins with you.